Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an install video for West Kiss Hair. On the box is all of their information and inside of the box it came with a few goodies which I'm going to show you right now. So this is a 13 by 6 HD lace wig deep wave it has three combs on the inside and it is 30 inches as you can see the lace blends perfectly with your skin so now we're about to jump into the install what i like to do is adjust the wig on my head to see where i want the wig to sit i'm going to be using some of my arrogant taste techniques what he does is after he kind of adjusts it on your head he cuts the lace after i cut the lace i'm going to use this press powder and put it on the stocking cap i'm not doing the ball cap method this time but I do put the makeup on the wig and the stocking cap. So I'm putting the wig back on one more time just to make sure everything looks right before I glue it down. I use the Isha glue. It is safe for your edges and it is a strong hold. I usually use about two to three layers if I really want the wig to be on my head for a few weeks. And I use a little popsicle stick so I can kind of just smooth in and spread the glue all over my forehead. Okay, so this is my final layer and then I'm going to place the wig onto where I put the glue when it clears up. And that's what I'm doing right now. It is sitting super perfect and super easy. I actually like the fact that I cut the lace before I put the glue because it's a lot less work and it's not messy. It just kind of just goes straight to the point. So I'm going to repeat the same steps all around my head. I'm going to go section by section, apply the glue, use the popsicle stick, and then place the wig. And I'm just going to repeat that until I have installed the entire wig or, you know, each section on my head. Okay, this is the final section. I'm about to press it on to make sure, you know, the wig is placed correctly and it stays in the right spot. So I decided I was going to do a side part and 
how I determine where I want my side part to begin is I follow the arch of my eyebrows and then I use a rat tail comb to make the the side part more like straight and precise. And now I'm just taking out pieces of hair so I can create edges. I use a hot comb to smooth the hair back. So Arrogant Tay curls the edges first before he lays the edges. So this is my first time trying this technique. I'm curling the edges first before I lay it with, you know, the, the you know, gel or mousse or whatever I decide to use. I believe his hair straightener that he used was a little mini hair straightener, but I don't have one. So I'm using just a regular hair straightener. So now that I'm done curling it, I'm going to cut the edges to my liking before I start swooping the edges. So I saw on TikTok, this hairstylist, she uses Gorilla Glue to lay her edges. So I decided to try something new and I used the Gorilla Glue to lay the edges. But guys, I think I might have done it wrong because it was a mess and I had to later on <laughs> cut more off of the edges. As you can see, the edges look too long and they just look crazy and the glue was it was just messy and just sticky and it was a bad idea that's why i'm smiling and i'm trying to cut the edges off some more it just just use mousse okay and then in the end use gorilla glue i shouldn't have used the gorilla glue in the beginning so i went back in got the mousse and i cut the edges some more and then now i'm just redoing it because it's a lot easier this way trust me Okay, see the edges are coming along nicely. And now I go back in with the Gorilla Glue. That, that's what I should have done in the beginning. I should have used the mousse and then I should have, you know, went in with the Gorilla Glue just so that it, the edges can sit, sit in one place and not just be lifting or, you know, doing its own thing. So that's what I'm doing right now. And, you know, that's my first time doing my edges like this and it was pretty decent. I'm trying to do new things with my edges and I'm hoping you guys like this look and try it out. Try some new things with their hair and slay, okay? Because they're not ready for 2021. It's, it's a hot girl summer. Isn't that what they say? Hot girl summer? <laughs> I'm not about that life. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay. But you see that? You see that swoop? Okay, okay.
So now I'm doing the other side, same exact technique. Pull the edges out, you know, curl it, mousse it, and Gorilla Glue it. Literally follow the exact same step. To be honest with you, um, this Arrogant Tay method is very time consuming. And I honestly could have achieved the same edges. Maybe I just didn't really do it right. I, I need to practice because this is this was my first time trying it. So that could be why. But um, I don't know. It just it, I didn't really notice much of a, a difference. It just kind of made it more time consuming because I had to curl the edges. And then I put the mousse on and it's like I swoop it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so now that we are done with the edges, it is time to spray some Got To Be Free Spray on our edges. Got To Be Free Spray is perfect for melting the lace. I usually just use it as like my final little touch up and I tie my edges with a little head tie. To style the hair, I put some water in a spray bottle and the reason why I love curly hair is because all you need is water and a brush and brush it through and that's it. Literally, that's it. And I'm using a denim brush to brush through the hair. I start from the bottom and then I work my way up. And I just find that method easy for me to just comb through the hair. Um, and I must say the hair was not tangling much and it did not shed excessively, which is a bonus. Make sure you scrunch the hair after you're done brushing it because when the curls dry, it's going to dry real tight and curly and pretty. And I just love the end result when it's scrunched. Like usually when I don't scrunch it, I notice a difference. Okay guys, so I'm about to take this out. So I finished wetting the hair and this is the reveal. Okay, so this is how it looks when I take this off. But do you guys like it like this or do you like it when it's dry? Well, you guys haven't seen it when it's dry yet. So I'm gonna let the hair dry. But this is how it looks like so far. So this is 30 inches, guys. It stops all the way down to my thighs, okay? All the way down to my thighs. You see this? Look at this. Like, look at this hair. Look at how long it is. And I'm only five, I'm five four. Look at this. I want y'all to see what we're working with, okay? Who child? Who chile? Okay? This hair is really, really long and beautiful. Like, this is perfect for anything, really. It's perfect for summer. It's perfect for winter. It's perfect for fall. But summertime is when the curly vibes come in. Look at the curls. Curls are so pretty. Let me show the edges because I know y'all want to see 
what we doing with the edges. I'm gonna come back when it is fully dry so you guys can see the whole hair in its entirety. I should do like a thumbnail. So yeah, I'm gonna come back. Um, it's probably gonna take like an hour to dry. And just make sure when you do wet it, you scrunch it like this. And yeah, so I'll be back when it's dry. Okay, so this is the hair when it is fully dry. Fully dry. Okay. So which one do you guys like better? Do you like it when it's curly or and wet or I got my waist trainer on, so let's check. Okay, so this is where the hair stops when it is dry. It's literally down to my hips, guys. Down to my hips. It is so long. I, oh. Like, look at how long it is. I love this hair so much. Like, definitely a fave. And the curls are really, really pretty. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. I need to make like an intro. But I'll do an intro afterwards. But this is the final product. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. For me, I really like it. Like, this is the bomb. Zacom. This is up close and personal no flitters no flitters so yeah for me if i had to grade this hair it would be an a plus for now i mean it's really beautiful and the curls are really nice no tangling everything just flows there's no frizzing it's not like really big um when it dried up it looks really good so um I actually really like this hair and I'm excited to wear this hair to like a beach or something or just somewhere real nice, go into the pool and take a nice little poolside pics, okay? Because this hair is it, baby. Look at that, it's so pretty. I love it. Everything about the hair will be in the description box below. It is from a company called West Kiss Hair. As you saw in the beginning, I showed the box and everything. Great customer service, great company great hair you will not regret it and i believe this is 200 and 200 density or 250 percent density and the cap size for me is a small because my head is really really small so but you know check out their hair go on their website and purchase this wig okay deep wave all right guys if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.